In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to perform the Renegade Row. The Renegade Row is a fantastic trunk exercise. Specifically, it's an exercise developed to work both anti-extension and anti-rotation. I'm a big believer that in order to generate rotational power, which is very important in the sport of tennis, you must first be able to resist it. The Renegade Row is a progression from the basic plank exercise. It looked quite simple, but it's much harder than you'd think. The aim with this exercise is to get yourself into a plank position or a press up position. Here it's very important that you push your chest away from the ground by opening your shoulder blades apart. Holding a dumbbell or a kettlebell in each hand, you're very, very slowly to lift one weight off the ground at a time. In taking the weight off the ground, there is a high likelihood that your body, or more specifically your hips, are gonna want to rotate. You are to contract your glutes as hard as you can, as well as your abdominals, locking your rib cage down in order to try and prevent this rotation. This is going to involve a lot of work in the glutes and a lot of work in the abdominal musculature. The slower you can perform this exercise, the better. Now, one quick tip is to make sure that you're not lifting one arm off the ground until you firmly place the weight of the other one on the ground. So make sure that you distribute your weight efficiently, smoothly and carefully before you take your arm off the floor. To be more specific, if you're gonna take your right arm off the floor, you need to very carefully shift over to the left hand side without demonstrating any physical movement. You want to keep as still as you physically can, just like you're doing a plank. Gradually shift your weight over to the left hand side before making sure that you're stable prior to then lifting the right arm off the floor. As you place the right arm on the floor, you should not lift your left arm until you are completely confident that all of your weight has been carefully and subtly distributed onto your right hand side. The slower you do this, the better. Have a go with this exercise. It's really effective at developing the foundations required for rotational power. Please do hit the subscribe button below and also the bell icon to the right of it to get notified of our next release.